have a form here for creating a new product. And our product model here belongs to a category. Now, whenever you have a belongs to association, it's common to use a select menu for choosing which record it belongs to. However, if there's a lot of options to choose from, this can be a little bit cumbersome. So instead, I wanna show you how you can replace a belongs to association menu like this with a text field where the user types in and it automatically completes as the user types in a given category name here. So here's what that template looks like for that product form. And notice I have a collection select call here for setting up that menu for the category association. But I don't wanna use a select menu, I want to use a text field. So let's first replace this with a text field call. Now what attribute should we use here? Uh, we want the user to type in the name of the category, so let's call this category name. And I'll change the label up here as well. Now if I try reloading this form here, this isn't going to work because I don't have a category name attribute on the product model. But that's not a problem, we can just create a virtual attribute here. So inside of my product model here, I can create a getter and setter method for that category name attribute. So let's first make a getter method here. And what we want to do is return the category association's name. But if there is no category set, let's just call try here so that it will return nil if no category exists. And then uh, we need to make a setter method here, passing in a category name. And let's set our category to uh, category.findByName. Then pass in our name here and only if the name is present, like that. So now when I reload this form here, you can see that it works. We have a category name field. So let's try creating a product and see if it works all right. Uh, we'll make a price here and a category. There's one called toys. So let's assign it to that. And now when I create a category, you can see that it properly sets up the association by finding a category with that name. Now what happens if the user types in a category which doesn't exist? Maybe we want to make one called board games. It would be nice if it made this category with that name when one isn't found. And this is really easy to do with Rails by changing this find by name call to find or create by name. So now when I submit this form with a new category name, you can see it works by creating a new category with that name. Now what I would really like to do though is add some auto completion so that as the user's typing, it shows them existing categories that they can choose from. One of the easiest ways to add auto-completion to a Rails 3.1 application is using jQuery UI. You can see on their demo page here that they offer some auto-complete functionality, and you can also check out the documentation here to see exactly how it works. So let's add this to our app. Now we already have jQuery UI available to us in a Rails 3.1 app. Just go inside of your application.js file and then require jQuery UI inside of here. That's all. You don't even need to download it. And then I could add the autocomplete functionality inside of my product's coffee script file here. Let's first make sure the DOM is loaded. And then we need to fetch the text field. It's called product category name. And then we can call autocomplete on this to enable the autocompletion. But we do need to pass an option in here called source. And this will tell it how to populate the autocompletion. And you can either pass it a URL for it to query through Ajax or pass it an array of options. I'll do an array for now just to get this working. And let's try this out. Now with that code in place, let's try going to our new product form and start typing in a category name and notice that the auto-completion seems to be working where it's listing various options that match that given uh, text that we're typing in here. However, it looks terrible. So let's improve the way this auto-completion looks. I will do that inside of the products SCSS file here. And I'll just paste in some CSS code here to make that happen. So now when we go to the form, our auto-completion looks much prettier here. So now we just have to focus on populating this with our category names instead of this placeholder data. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can go about doing this, and I'm going to show you both techniques here in this episode. The first thing I wanna show you here is how to keep everything on the client side, which works well if you don't have a lot of different autocomplete options to choose from, like in our situation right here. So to do this, what I'm going to do is embed the various category names inside of a data attribute on our text field tag here. And so I can set a data option here. And by the way, this data hash like this is new in Rails 3.1, and it's just a convenient way to set data attributes. So let's make one called autocomplete uh, source, and then just pass in an array of category names. So let's uh, order all the categories by name, and let's just select all of them here. So it just returns an array of category names. 
And we can check out what that does by reloading this page and then viewing the HTML source here. And notice that we now have a data autocomplete source attribute on our text field, and it automatically handled the converting the array to a JSON string and HTML escaping. So we can just use this inside of our CoffeeScript now. So we can remove this array of placeholder data inside of our CoffeeScript here, and then just fetch it off of our text field. So we can call data, it's called autocomplete source, and then that will return an array of the category names. So let's try this out by reloading this page here and typing something in. And notice it automatically handles the autocompletion for us, just like that, very easy. So this is really all you have to do to get autocompletion working with everything happening on the client side. And this solution works really well in our case where we just don't have all that many categories to choose from. So embedding them all in the HTML document like this works great. However, th there are some situations where you do have a lot of autocomplete options and placing them all inside of the HTML document isn't really a good solution because it's a lot of data and it really makes the document large. So instead, it would probably be better to use an Ajax request and then fetch the, the autocomplete uh, options from your Rails application instead of embedding them directly here. And to do that, you can just pass in a URL to the autocomplete source instead of an array of options. So we don't have a URL set up for this yet, but we can make one. Let's call it Categories Path. So let's generate that controller called Categories. And this is where I'll handle the auto-completion that it will respond to an Ajax request. But really, you can handle this in any controller action you want. And inside of my routes file, I will make that Categories resource. So that way, it's a full RESTful style controller, and it'll generate that Categories Path helper method. And then inside of my categories controller here, I'll make an index action, and then I'll just fetch the categories, which I want to order by the name attribute. Now I don't want to fetch all the categories here, only the ones that match what the user has been typing into the text field. So I can say where uh, the name is like a given query. And let's say um, it matches the term that the user has been passing in. And that is passed in with a term parameter by the autocomplete jQuery UI plugin. And so that way it'll only fetch the categories which contain part of the term inside of their name. And then this controller action needs to respond with some JSON. So it needs to render out the categories in JSON format here. And I'm just going to fetch all the category names in an array. You can return other data if you want to, if you want to do something fancy. But here this will work for us. So basically all we're doing is just finding the categories which match the term that the user types in and then returning those in a JSON array. So now I can try this out by reloading this page. And now when I type in a term in the category name field, you can see it works. It'll return all of the matching categories and it's a little bit slower because it's actually performing a query on our Rails application through some Ajax. But it's not having to store the categories actually inside of the client. So this might work for cases where there are a lot of options to choose from. Works great. Well, that's it for this episode on auto-completing an association name. I encourage you to check out the jQuery UI documentation for other options that you can pass in. For example, you can pass in a min length option, which requires that a certain number of characters be typed in before it performs the Ajax request and so on. Now you may also be interested in episode number 258, where I show you how to set up auto-completion for a many-to-many -many association using the jQuery token input plugin. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful.